Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders Motorsports. Today, I want to go through some of the benefits of the SynchroWave 210. If you're shopping for a new TIG machine and you're exploring some of the new machines on the market, the inverter machines are a great option. The SynchroWave 210 is an inverter machine. It also has some menus that enhance the features and benefits that make this machine even a better bargain. I'm going to walk through some of the standard menu settings on the SynchroWave 210 and stick around because we're going to go through some of the hidden menus where you can fine tune some parameters to enhance your arc performance. So on the SynchroWave 210, your main controls on the front panel are going to be your amperage control and your process selector. So in your process selector, you can select between DC or AC TIG welding, stick welding, and also MIG welding with the spool gun. The menu button here has some additional features that you can adjust within each one of those settings. If I press the menu button in the DC setting, I get to the pulser menu. The pulser on this machine goes up to 150 pulses per second. Pressing the button again gets you back to the main display. In the AC process, the menu button adjusts your balance, your frequency, and the pulsers. The pulse frequency goes up to 50 when in the AC mode. Pressing the button again gets you back to your main display. With the spool gun, spool gun is the MIG option for this machine. The menu button will adjust your wire feed speed and your voltage. If we select the stick process, the menu button will adjust your dig percentage. To access the hidden menu screens we talked about earlier, you're going to need to take that menu button and hold it down for at least three seconds. That's going to get you into the user menu. The first thing that comes up is the start setting. You can select between high frequency start or lift arc. Another thing I like about this program, when in the TIG process, I can be in that user menu and select between the AC setting and the DC settings and have different settings for each. So I could select lift arc for DC, which I really like when working on a car, especially when you're in an environment where you're in a high frequency sensitive environment, where like a car has a lot of electronics on it and high frequency sometimes can damage those, high, those electronics. So I like the lift arc for that. And what lift arc is, is it doesn't use high frequency to jump the arc. You just take the tungsten, touch it to what you're gonna weld, step on the foot pedal and simply lift, and it starts the arc. Now when I'm working with aluminum, I like that high frequency start. Okay. So you can set those independently. Press the button again. We're using a remote foot pedal, so there's no need to adjust that. The next setting is going to be tungsten. This is a great adjustment for fine tuning the start of the machine. Okay, the machine comes standard with a 332 tungsten and for most applications that's fine. But if I want to weld some real super thin material and I want to put a smaller tungsten in there, the machine's settings at 332 may be a little too hot to start that real thin material and you may blow a hole in it. So to fine tune the starts, I can drop that tungsten size to a 1 16th or an even an 040 tungsten. That drops those start settings way down so that it matches the tungsten you're actually using in your torch. Okay. Okay. Press the button one more time and I get to the post flow menu. From the factory, the post flow menu is the gas setting and it's set at automatic. So what that does is the machine measures how many amps you're welding at and it will determine how much gas after you're done welding it's going to use to run through the torch to cool the torch and to cool the weld bead area. You can set this manually if you want to. So you can take it out of automatic and you can tell it how many seconds you want to run the gas after you're done welding. This is a great feature if you're welding something like stainless that needs maybe some additional gas or titanium, which loves to have extra gas put on it to keep that weld bead shielded properly. 
Or if you want to be in that gas saving mode and you're just doing some TIG welding on steel and you, you don't necessarily need that much post flow, you could dial that down a little bit. The average is about one second for every 10 amps. So if I was welding at 100 amps, you're gonna get roughly 10 seconds of post gas in the automatic mode. In most cases, you can probably drop that down a little bit and save yourself some gas, especially if you're using gas lenses because gas lenses give you a better gas shielding area anyway. Pressing that menu button one more time gets you back to the beginning, that start circuit. To get out of the hidden menu screen, we're gonna do the same thing we did to get in. We're gonna push that button down and hold it for about three seconds. That'll bring us back to our original display. For more information on the Syncrave 210 or to find your local distributor, check out MillerWelds.com.